Hello everyone. Uh, today we will solve this numerical problem. So there are three cases. Okay. So in first case, the input common load voltage is zero volt. In second case, it's a change to one volt. And in third case, it's a minus point two volt. Okay. So supply voltage is plus minus one point five volt. Mu one C X W by L is four milliampere per volt square. Uh, BTH is 0.5 volt and uh, this current source is 0.4 milliampere. RD is 2.5 kilo. Uh, they have neglected channel length modulation and they have given that uh, current source I requires a minimum voltage of 0.4 volt to operate properly. Okay, so minimum voltage across this should be 0.4 volt to work it properly. Now in first part, they are asking. V over dive and VGS for each transistor. Okay, so we will calculate each voltage and current, and we will see the minimum and maximum value of input common mode voltage. Okay, so in first case, so our input common mode voltage is zero volt. Okay, so our transistor are matched, our both legs are matched. Okay. So the current will split equally. Okay. So uh, half of current will flow through this leg. Half of current will flow through this leg. So 0.2 milliampere, 0.2 milliampere. Okay. So now we will use the formula. This ID 1 to equal to 1 by 2 mu on C ox W by L VGS minus VTH whole square. So VGS minus VTH is V over drive. From here we can calculate V over drive as 0.316 volt. Okay. Now VGS will be V over drive plus VTH. They have given VTH as 0.5 volt. So it will come approximately as 0.82 volt. Okay. Now uh, so this 0.2 milliampere of current is setting a VGS across this transistor of 0.82 volt. Okay. Now, depending upon your input common mode voltage, this source voltage will change in each case. Okay. So here uh, input uh, is zero volt. So what will be source voltage? Zero minus 0 0.82 equal to minus 0 0.82 volt. Now let's check our condition is satisfied or not. Okay. So drop across this will be minus 0 0.82 minus of minus 1.5. So it's 2.32 volt it's uh, greater than 0.4 volt so it will work properly so uh, we can show the characteristics of this current source as above 0.4 volt it will continue to supply 0.4 milliampere and it can sustain any voltage across it okay so it will deliver 0.4 milliampere at 0.4 voltage across it, 0.5 volt, 0.6 volt, 0.7, any voltage it can sustain depending upon your input common voltage. Okay. Now the drain voltage, what will be drain voltage? We know the current, we know the drop across it. So simply 1.5 minus 0.2 milliampere into 2.5 kilo ohm. Okay, so it will come as 1 volt. So uh, here V zero one V zero two will be one volt uh, drain voltage. Okay, both will be uh, terminal drain voltage will be one volt. So in second part, they have changed the input voltage as one volt. Earlier it was one zero volt. Okay, now again the both legs are matched properly. So current will split equally 0.2 milliampere. 0.2 milliampere. Okay. Now this current and size of this transistor is constant for each case. So this overdrive will voltage, this VGS value will remain same. Okay. For constant current W by L, V overdrive or VGS will remain same. So again, now this current is setting the point eight to voltage across VGS. Now depending upon your input, your source voltage will change. So in this case, what will be source voltage? 1 minus 0.82 to 0.18 now let's check the voltage across this 0.18 minus minus a 1.5 volt it's a 1.6 volt 68 volt it's a greater than 0.4 volt okay so again it's a 
satisfy it satisfying our condition and it will continue to deliver 0.4 milli ampere okay so uh, let's check the vds of this input transistor so drain voltage will be remain same one volt because current is same drop across is the same so one volt our source is, is change okay so vds will be one minus 0.18 okay so it will be 0.82 volt which greater than vgs minus vts okay so it's also in saturation in third case our input common volt is 0.2 volt again in this case both transistors are matched so current will split equally this current is same size is same again the vgs will remain same only thing will change the source voltage okay so in this case what will be depending upon this this will be minus 0.2 minus of 0.82 equal to minus of 1.02 volt okay and so let's check the voltage drop across it so minus 1.02 minus of minus 1.5 okay so it's 0.48 it's obviously greater than 0.4 volt again it's a uh, in saturation and it will continue to deliver 0.4 milli ampere okay now check the vds of this so drain voltage is 1 volt current is same drop is same okay so 1 volt minus of 1.02 so it's 2.02 it's obviously greater than vgs minus vth so it's a, again in saturation now in e part they are asking what is the highest value of vcm and what is the minimum value of vcm in f part okay so we know that for a nmos the maximum input gate voltage we can go 1 VT above than VD okay so VGD should be less than VTL so from diagram we can remember as like uh, if VGD less than VTL there will be no channel here and channel is pinched off and pinched off means saturation and if VGD is greater than VTH so there is channel and there is channel means there is linear region okay so vgd should be less than vth for saturation so from here we can get a condition vg should be less than vd plus vdh okay so maximum voltage we can go vd max plus vts so vd is fixed to one volt in each case because supply is constant current is constant drop across resistance is constant so drain voltage is constant so maximum you can go 1.5 volt okay now in f part they are asking minimum voltage of this input common mode voltage okay so we are given the minimum voltage should be this current so it will be 0.4 volt so minus 1.5 volt is negative supply so what will be this source volt minus 1.1 volt minus 1.5 and plus minus so minus 1.5 plus 0.4 will be minus 1.1 1 .1 volt source voltage minimum okay so now we can derive the minimum voltage so minimum voltage will, will be so vs will be minus 1.1 and vcm minus 0.28 should be minus 1.1 so from here we can calculate vcm should be minimum minus 0.28 okay now we can see that a range of vcm so minimum we can go to minus 0.28 and maximum 1.5 okay so below this minus 0.28 like uh, minus 0.29 minus 0.3 voltage drop will go below 0.4 volt and it will not be in saturation and here is voltage is minus 0.2 so obviously it's greater than minus 0.28 so it's greater than 0.4 volt okay 0.8 voltage here is greater than minimum so 0.8 voltage is greater than here minimum than 0.4 volt okay so main uh, thing i wanted to tell that uh, uh, depending upon our input common mode our source voltage will change because uh, the current is same our sizing is same so our vgs and vo drive will remain for each case okay so depending upon input common mode our source voltage will follow this okay this one is constant so this will follow directly 
so if you are decreasing this one so that will decrease if you are increasing this one so that will increase okay so and uh, we can see also that uh, in each case our drain voltage is 1 volt so any change in input common board voltage our differential our node voltage is fixed our differential output is remain same so it's completely rejecting the any change in input common board voltage okay so it's zero volt then also one volt output here then also our one volt if it's minus 0.2 then also it's one volt okay so current through this transistor will set vgs and depending upon it that will set your vgs okay so thank you uh, if, you, if there is any doubt in this problem then please tell me and uh, if you want any variety of this question like uh, unequal voltages or uh, differential input output or many things so tell me i will try to uh, provide any questions related to those things okay thank you uh,